Total residential unit sales for the greater Edmonton area for March 2021 increased almost 110% compared to March of 2020 and up almost 53% in comparison to February of 2021. Travis Harlick here with Remax Preferred Choice, your hometown expert. And today I'm here to share with you what happened in your local real estate market for March of 2021. The number of new residential listings is up year over year, increasing 51.6% from March of 2020. New residential listings are also up month over month, increasing 55.7% from February of 2021. Overall inventory in the greater Edmonton area fell 13.4% from March of last year and increased 11.5% from February of 2021. Now, please do keep in mind, those are some huge percentage increases in comparison to the same time frame of last year. But please do keep in mind, almost 12 months ago, we experienced our first lockdown as a society and that heavily impacted the real estate market. All right, we're gonna dive in here and start off with Spruce Grove single family homes. Month end for March 2021, there was an active single family count of 146 active listings. There were 78 sales that happened in March 2021. That's in comparison to 57 sales that happened in February of 2021, so a huge increase there of activity. The median sale price for single family in Spruce Grove was 355,000. And in the condo sector in Spruce Grove, months end, there was 42 active listings in Spruce Grove for March month's end. There were seven sales that happened in the month of March. That's up from three in the previous month of February. The median sale price was $170,000, while the median sale price for condos in Spruce Grove in February was $152,000. Now, for the Stony Plain single family sector, months end for March, there were 73 active listings. There was 32 sales that happened. That is up from 27 sales in February in Stony Plain. The median sale price in Stony Plain for March was $428,250. That was up from $362,000 the previous month. Now, in the condo sector in Stony Plain, months end for March, there was 39 active listings. Unfortunately, there's only two sales that happened in the condo sector in all of the month of March. That was down from six sales the previous month in the condo sector. The median sale price for Stony Plain condos was $225,000, and that was up from $209,000 the previous month in February. Now, for Parkland County, country residential, months end for March, there's 172 active listings. There was 56 sales that happened in March for all country residential in the county. That was up from the previous month's 38 sales. The median sale price in the county was 642,000 and the previous month was 534,000. Now in Parkland County's vacant land sector, months end for March, there was 118 active listings. There were 16 sales that happened in March and that was up from 10 sales in the previous month. The median sale price for Parkland County vacant land was 162,000, and that's in comparison to 195,000 for the median sale price for vacant land in the previous month of February. Well, if you're like me, you cannot believe that it's already April, 2021. The world is changing like it seems every single day if not every week, and that is the same for the real estate market. At any given point, it all comes down to supply and demand. Sometimes we're running into many, many, many multiple offer situations where you have home buyers or prospective home buyers basically bidding and fighting for the same property. So if you're a home buyer right now, be sure to have a low interest rate locked in and be ready to pull the trigger on the right property as soon as you see it. Offers are sometimes happening the same days that the listings are coming to the marketplace. So if you're a buyer, be sure to be ready to rock and roll and have everything lined up to make a, a great offer, a strong offer, and one that's gonna entice the seller to work with you sooner than later before someone else comes and scoops it up. Now, if you're a seller, 
Preparation is absolutely everything. There's only one chance for a great first impression when you hit the marketplace. So be sure to have your home staged and ready and decluttered and depersonalized, have an appropriate market evaluation completed. And that way when you hit the marketplace, you'll be ready for all the existing buyers that are out there. And your goal is to get an offer early on in order to get great, great value for your home sale. Timing is everything. So if there's anything that I can help you with or provide any insight to allow you to make your decisions, whether you're on the buying side or home selling side in this current marketplace, feel free to reach out. Every family has different goals and different needs. And sometimes it's all about making a game plan, establishing that and implementing it in order to make the most smooth and efficient home selling and buying process or vice versa that is possible for you. That's it for this month's market update. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, have a fantastic April, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.